up guys i'm back and today i'm doing another top five list today man i'm so used to saying you know i'm today i'm doing another movie review because i've done the godzilla marathon for so many days and now i'm finally done with it but today we're going to be doing oh my godzilla's top five favorite godzilla movies uh the updated version so as you may or may not know like when i first started this channel i made a list of my top five favorite godzilla movies well after watching the godzilla marathon you know my opinions have changed. You know, some of the movies that were on that list are still on this list. Some of the movies that were on that list did not make on did not that did not make it on this list. And there's some move, new movies that have been that have made it onto this list. So yeah, this is my opinion. Yours will differ. So yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into this top five list. Alright guys, let's start this list off with number 5, and this may come as a, as a surprise to you guys, but for number 5, we're going to go with Godzilla 1984. Yes, as you know, my last top 5 favorite Godzilla movies list, uh, I put this list like really, really high up, but after watching it again, you know, I didn't like it, you know, as much as I liked the other movies on this list. But, you know, I can't really put it lower than 5 because, you know, this is my favorite Godzilla design. The 1984 design is a phenomenal Godzilla design. The roar is awesome. Soundtrack's pretty good from this movie. Uh, characters, pretty good from this movie. I love the story, you know. And, yeah, I just, I love the 84 movie. It's very, very awesome, you know. Very, very intimidating, very scary Godzilla. You know, yeah, this movie is phenomenal. And, and as, as, as I said, that. Uh, you know, this is my favorite Godzilla design, so I really can't put this movie lower than five. So yeah, number five is Godzilla 1984. All right, guys, and mind you, number four and number three were very, very difficult to decide. But with number four, I'm going with my favorite movie out of the Heisei series, Godzilla vs. Destroya. Yes, the finale of the Heisei era. This movie, guys, is amazing. You know, Godzilla's melting down, you know, it's... Destroya, Destroya is my favorite monster out of all the guys of the movies. Destroya is just awesome, you know. He looks like the devil. Uh, just the whole like thing with like the nuclear power, you know, why it's happened, you know. That's more kind of more with the, the original one. But there's a lot of the sense of nuclear power in this movie, also. And yeah, just this guys all over. If you wonder why I'm looking over here, it's because my guys all my burning guys all and Destroya SH monsters figures are right there. So you know, I always keep looking there when I talk about this movie, but. Guys, this movie is amazing, you know. If you haven't checked this movie out, guys, I highly recommend you do. It is so awesome. It's it's awesome, guys. How many times have I said awesome? But that's really what this movie is. It's awesome. It's amazing. I highly recommend that you guys check it out. All right, guys. For number three, we're going to go with the last movie of the Millennium Series. And I may get, you know, a little bit of backlash for this one. But I'm going with Godzilla Final Wars. Yes, when I rewatched this movie for the Godzilla Marathon, I loved it. I loved it. There's a lot of bone chilling moments, you know, makes you like get you like goosebumps, you know, it's awesome. A lot of epic moments in this movie. Don Fry is amazing, Godzilla is awesome, and just Godzilla is able to just destroy, dismantle all of these other monsters in such a fast time. It's awesome, you know. You get a lot of monster action in this movie. Characters are pretty really really, really good too, you know, and again the monsters are freaking phenomenal guys it even takes on three at one point it's oh my gosh guys this movie is amazing if you love action it's love like monster action you will love this movie so yeah number three is Godzilla Final Wars all right guys for number two we're gonna go with the most recent Godzilla movie that has come out Godzilla King of the Monsters from 2019 yes this movie guys it is probably the most epic Godzilla movie out of the entire series, you know, I was questionably, I was questioning putting this movie at number one, but number one is number one, and I can't put it really above number one, but, um, yeah, this movie, guys, is awesome, guys, it was awesome, you got Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah, which are amazing, Rodan's awesome, Mothra's awesome, King Ghidorah is scary, and King Ghidorah is awesome, like, how the three heads of, like, different personalities, it's, it's awesome, this movie's great, got a lot of, bump. again, like, your skin gets goosebumps, especially when the Godzilla theme, the original Godzilla theme comes on. Oh my gosh, guys, it's amazing. I get chills. It's awesome. And spoiler, burning Godzilla at the end. I love how they added him at the end. And having the oxygen destroyer in this movie. Awesome. So many callbacks to the old, old Godzilla movies. And yeah, the three, one of the three, the most classic Godzilla monsters out there. Mothra, Rodan, King Ghidorah. It's this movie's awesome, especially if you're just getting into Godzilla. This is a movie that you should definitely watch. 
So yeah, number two is Godzilla King of the Monsters from 2019. And before we get to number one, guys, I'm going to list an honorable mention. Uh, GMK, this the GMK Godzilla movie is awesome, you know, but I couldn't really put it above 84. So, you know, I had to put it at as my honorable mention and I couldn't, I just can't make a top 10 list guys. That's just way too hard for me to do. So I can do an honorable mention. So yeah, honorable mention is GMK because Godzilla is just awesome in, the, in that movie. All right, guys, for number one, and you guys may know which movie it is, my favorite Godzilla movie of all time, and one of my favorite movies of all time, Godzilla 1954, or Gojira, or Godzilla King of the Monsters, if you watch the American version. But um, this movie, guys, is amazing. It is a masterpiece. It's so, so awesome. Even though Godzilla doesn't fight any monsters in this movie, he doesn't really need to. This movie is awesome. You know, what I really love about this movie, and you may have heard me say this before, all those cheesy black and white monster movies by them, they're so cheesy, so goofy. This movie was made nine years after Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. So this is a very, very serious black and white movie. It takes a, it has such a serious tone, which I love. That's why, you know, that's what I'm kind of looking for in guys' little movies, a serious tone. Even though King of the Monsters, there's a lot of laughing moments, you know, but it, the, the movie takes it very, very seriously. So, and yes, this, the original movie, it's the original. It's awesome. Godzilla is, is horrifying. You know, the black and white, you know, theme of the movie is awesome. This movie, guys, this is a must-see if you want to get, get into watching Godzilla movies. This is an absolute must-see if you're going to become a Godzilla fan. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this this list. I really did myself. You know, this is a really, really, you know, after like doing like the last top five, got top five guys on movies list, you know, I my opinions have changed and I've wanted to give you guys an update on what my new top five favorite guys on movies are. So yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram, oh my Godzilla one Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.